Hey guys, and welcome back to Grandia 2. Last time we uh, entered the Durham Cave in search of Roan, and uh... so we're just here with Millennia and trying to get through this place. We've got a little scene here. This isn't very important at all. I don't know why it has to feel the need to do this in a scene. But you gotta admit, that thing's pretty adorable. Aww. I like its tail, it just looks so big and fluffy. So if we go up and talk to it, the squirrel fox rodent thing must be Caro. They say he forges for puff nuts. Yeah. So uh, you can actually like find puff nuts in uh, in dungeons and stuff. Uh, they they don't really have much use though. I mean, if you give enough. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and explain what I've done here. I've gave Rito the chaos egg that Millennia comes with, and Millennia has the uh, the holy egg. And I also powered up the Holy Eggs, uh, both the Heal and Healer. So let's get a battle. Millennia in combat, in my opinion, is much, much better than uh, Elena was. Because her physical attacks are a lot better. The only problem with her physical attacks is that she likes to miss a lot. Um, because they're crossbow bolts, she'll pretty much just attack from wherever. But if the enemy's like moving at all, then chances are it, the enemy's gonna dodge the bolt. So just keep that in mind. But that's really not that big of a deal because Elena's Elena misses a lot too because she's so freaking slow and can't like catch up to enemies or anything. So with that battle. We have enough skill coins to teach uh, Ryudo. Da, 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 da. Move magic. No, not move magic. I need power up. Or moves. We can teach him Flying Tensekin, which is uh, his most powerful physical attack for now. Hint, hint. Uh, no spoilers or anything, but, um, but that's his most powerful move right now. Uh, I'll probably use it on the boss of this area. So I need to make sure to... Oh god, I hate this part. This is like... It's a battle here with four crag snakes. You know, I mean, you saw how much trouble they gave me before. So, oh man. Millennia has a move uh, that she comes with called Fallen Wings. Uh, here, I'll, I'll show you where it's at. There's Fallen Wings. But as you can see, it takes 75 SP and she's only got 77. So, I'm not going to blow that right now. I've got a battle in mind later on that I will use that on. Uh, this is a good candidate, though. So, I mean, if you're really, really struggling with these crag snakes, then uh, I guess I, I you, you could always go back and, like, heal at the save point, go back and recover, and that wouldn't be a bad idea. I'm just not going to do that because I can't be bothered to go all the way back there. One more thing I want to mention. Oh, well, she got poisoned. I guess I can mention that. Uh, poison, you, you can guess what it does. It's just like in every other game. So I'm just going to use a cure real quick to get rid of it. Oh, I thought he might be able to take that out, but not quite enough. So yeah, just use a cure and it'll lift that from you. She's getting a little low on HP. But she should be fine for the rest of this battle. This is only going to be one left after this. Ooh, nice counter. Sweet, and he dodged the attack, too. Alright, this crack snake's going down. Um, I'll explain what I was going to explain last time in the next battle, because it's too late now, so... <laughs> and with that, we should both level up. Yep. Level 13 and 14. So now that we wasted all that time, I'm going to actually go uh, to move magic here and have her heal herself and Ryuta. Because it doesn't cost that much MP at all, really. She's got like 80 something, I think. We didn't need to go in here yet, but um, we will eventually, so I'll figure I'll just go ahead and clear that out. Okay, so let's hit this thing, and that will um, adjust the... Sluice gates here, I guess you could call them. To raise this bridge up so we can get across. The only problem is that lowers this bridge so we can't go any further this way. Which is where we need to go. 
So, what you've got to do here is push this little rock down. Then, uh, come back out and switch the sluice gates again. If I can get around all these stupid rocks. That way, uh, this bridge will be lifted up. We can't get across that way, but now that we've lowered that rock, we don't need to. So we can just climb up it. And, uh, continue on. Uh, okay, this isn't the room that I thought I was getting in. This is the room I wanted. Okay, I was kind of confused for a second there. See, we can just walk right up the wa the rock. Whew. And continue on. We'll get a uh, hundred gold from this thing here. If I can pick it up. There we go. And here we've got a trap room with frogs. Ah, frogs. The frogs actually aren't that big of a threat. I think the crag snakes are harder, personally. They uh, they do have more health though, so I guess watch out for that. They do quite a bit of damage to Millennia too, because her defense is kind of crap at this point. Okay, what I was going to explain last time is see those little um, those little things swirling around Millennia's picture up there. You you might have noticed them already. What that is is that's called her rage meter, and whenever she um, whenever that builds like all the way up, she goes berserk basically and uses just whatever skill she feels like at the time. Usually it's Fallen Wings, which uh, it can be annoying in that it depletes you know, like your SP and MP and all that stuff because, you know, that it still costs SP to use even when she's berserked. Um, but the good thing is, if you only have, like, just a little bit of SP, you can just have, like, five or something. She can still use Fallen Wings even though it costs, like, 70-something for that five SP, and that's really nice but you know it's it's really you, you can't time when it's going to be used so it's really just more annoying than it is um, helpful in any way ah come on millennia stop taking so much damage just kill this thing real quick you better practice if you want to beat me got some eye drops don't really need those, but I think I'm just gonna cut this next frog battle out, so. Yeah, there we go. Alrighty, that one went just like the others. I had to have Millennia heal herself in the middle, though. Uh, there was another treasure out here that I wanted to see if I could get. That little charm over there. I don't know of a way to get there. Oh, well, there you go. I guess just follow the path in that direction. Get a sleep charm. And a puff nut. It's not worth... Uh, you have to give a few. I can't remember if it's two or three. It, it's probably three. You've got to give, like, three to the Karo before he'll start following you around. And when you give those to him, he'll kind of, like, hop on your back and, um, like, light the way. I don't know what use it has. I've never found a use for it, so... Uh, I would advise just, you know, selling them or something. Okay, so uh, we looks like we found Roan, and he's being mobbed by hard monsters that we've never seen before. So let's uh, jump in and kick their asses, shall we? Now this is the battle in my, that I had in mind when I was talking about saving Fallen Wings. Because uh, if you look at the Troglodytes, 980 HP, and there's three of them. So this is without a doubt the hardest battle we've faced so far. If you don't have uh, something like Fallen Wings uh, that you've saved up for, this battle is going to be pretty difficult. Because they, they they don't do, like, a whole lot of damage, per se, but they take forever, and it'll really stack up. So, uh, I really recommend that you use Fallen Wings here. It's very doable without it. I mean, uh, it, it's not that hard, I guess. It's just, it's really annoying, and Fallen Wings is really the way to go. I mean, look at all the damage. There. It even got a counter on one of them. So, uh, look at that, it's left with 2 HP from its 980. So then we can just use some physicals to finish these guys off. Well, that one was left with quite a bit of HP. But I mean, as you can see, using that skill basically made this battle complete cake. 
and it looks like we've got ourselves a mist egg, which is a new mana egg. As it says here, you acquired a mana egg. Use a quick power up on the field window. Just like we've done with the other ones. So, uh, looks like we've saved Roan, and he uh, is thanking us very much for saving him. But we're going to leave it off here and see what he's got to say next time. So, uh, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this part, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.